<laughs> yeah, have you seen that clip of uh, what is it uh, with uh, Kathy, Kathy Lee Giffords brings on the autistic boy? No. Who, uh, so it's like some school where like a jock. It's like you won't believe this story, where in you know sh- shithole right. Kansas, a small town of five people, where a little autistic boy with no friends that was a loser that nobody wanted to hang out with, he f- he, f- he sucked, frankly. Yeah. <laughs> when one of the jocks from the school made the brave stance of not bullying him and pretending to be his friend, <laughs> you know, yeah. and, and so like they found out that they both possessed a huge love of sports. And while their conversations usually centered around that, as their friendship grew, their conversations went much deeper than that. And then they fucking... Like they, sitting with him at lunch. Yeah, yeah. sitting with him at, at lunch, yeah. And then so they bring him in, and then they have the autistic boy there. And then all the women, Kathleen Giffords and like her father, those other dumb women on the show, they've just been like hot cunts their yeah, entire right. life. Right. Now they're rich and like mm-hmm. they can't relate. There's no way they could possibly relate to this autistic boy. Wow. Was it surprising to you, sweetie? Mm-hmm. Had you been sitting there quite a while all alone like that? Yeah, a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And she's like looking at him and she's like, and Jonathan, how did it make you feel when Brock... Uh, you know, <laughs> I don't know feelings! Yeah, yeah. And he's like, <laughs> I don't know, fine. And she's like, but isn't it just so crazy that he wanted to be friends with you? Isn't that just make you feel great that... You know, somebody, and she's it, just handling it so poorly. Melissa, it must have meant a lot to you <laughs> to hear about this. Tell us your perspective. It was amazing. Uh-huh. Graham came home that day and said, guess who I had lunch with today? <laughs> really? And I said, who? And he said, Zach Hirsch. I'm like, really? <laughs> big sports star. <laughs> big, was, big, big guy on campus. Right, exactly. I was very surprised. Right. She then sang to him. Yeah, they, they had the song from yeah, the guy, yeah. and then they, they had some guy, they had some fucking guy write a song for the autistic boy, and it's like... And Kathy Lee performed yeah, it. Well, yeah, no, Kathy Lee didn't perform or, oh yeah, she, she sings did. the song. She but sings the lyrics the song. Of the song. Oh. Wow! So right. David and I wrote a very, very special song for you guys, and Kate's going to sing it for us as soon as we come back. Right after this, the lyrics of the song are like, "When you're a fucking loser, <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, no yeah, one yeah. wants to hang out with you." <laughs> yeah. you know? We see them every day, but too often look away from the ones who are sitting alone. We seldom hear their voice. Because we make the choice to leave them right there all alone. And the, but then the kindness of a stranger, you know, and, then, like, <laughs> and the kid, they come back, the kid, and he's crying. And then she's like, why did you, why are you crying? He's like, it, it made me sad. You know? Oh, my God. You had tears in your eyes, buddy. Did you like your song? Yeah, it was a little too sad. <laughs> Well, David can, David can yeah, go, we'll you know, hey, yeah. all alone, all alone, yeah. baby. Yeah, we, we'll, do, we'll jazz it up we'll next time. <laughs> There's a really good Stern, oh, Stern segment. Uh, about it yeah it's oh really like oh, I don't want to fuck why don't you uh, cut in with that at the beginning you fucking we just did a I, much shittier I, version of it wasn't <laughs> paying attention and then I found out you're yeah